Hello, students. Hello, teacher. How are you? What are we going to learn today? Today, we are talking about the interrelationships in ecosystems. Let's begin. Living things are affected by different factors in the environment. Do you remember there are two different types of ecosystems, terrestrial and aquatic? In terrestrial ecosystems, the main factors are temperature, humidity, type of soil, and light. And in aquatic ecosystems, the main factors are temperature, water currents, light, and salt content, which is the salinity. Remember that the components of an ecosystem are in balance with each other. This balance can be affected if we change temperature or because of the presence of new species. So please take care of the environment! Now it's time to talk about the adaptation to the environment. First, habitat is an area where a living thing lives and can find everything it needs. But species adapt to the environment. Adaptation allows living things to survive in a particular environment. And now I'm telling you a couple of examples. Imagine you are in a desert. What plants are you going to see? Cactuses. Cactuses adapted to their environment by having small leaves to reduce water loss and also deep roots to absorb more water. Imagine now that you are in North Pole and you see a polar bear. Polar bear adapted to the environment with paws to swim and walk on ice and also they have fur and fat against cold. And this is the end of the lesson, students. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.